couple of things to note with cladding, which I didn't know before. So it may come in useful, or you may know already. There's actually a right way up and a wrong way up, which I found out after putting half the ceiling in. I don't know how hard it is to see on the camera, but I've actually gone back and replaced it all uh, up to this point because I couldn't replace this one because it's actually built into the cupboard. Uh, but you might be able to see that, that these have got nice grooves and this one's just like a tight line. So check with your cladding, your tongue and groove that it's that your tongue is the right way up and your groove is the right way up. And then also um, I was planning on using cladding clips. So I started putting the cladding in and I thought right I'll start using the clips at this point. But I'd started with the, the groove at the back and the tongue this side. You need the groove to be on the direction that you're going. So like this now, I've started a new bit, so lessons learned. So I'm building up with the groove here and then you can build the cladding clips in. And, uh, and they're actually really good as well. They, they, they seem to be doing a really good job holding it on there. So just a few little things that I've learned in the past day or so. Anyway, it's a whole lot of fun. Right, we've just got the hammock up and tested it. The hammock test. <sighs> What's the idea of that? It's uh, it's so we can seat. We'll seat four people in here with this if we need to. It seems safe. That's actually really comfy. Lunch break. Good, to be fair, I'm happy with it. It's really comfy. The one problem, it's not much of a problem, but it's it's uh, untidy and messy. And I've come across a few things now where I'm having to make things a bit messy and it's doing my head in a bit, but I just have to go over it because I'm on a tight time frame as well now. Um, so I'm going to show you here where the hook comes through. Originally, I put these in before the cladding obviously and uh, that was long enough to come right through but we had to bring the cladding down so we had to cut this out like that and then the next problem I thought it'd be fine just touching just touching like that but then if you swing on the hammock a little bit it pops that open which again it'd probably still support it fine but I'd rather it stay clipped so now I'm gonna have to cut a bit more of this away and have a big ugly hole in the ceiling so you can see on this side that the bit the hook attaches to does come through quite a bit more but still it's not enough on this side so I've had to cut some away so if you are putting hooks in probably best that the you make sure the bit that the hook attaches to is longer rather than shorter about to cut into this worktop, we've marked out everything for the sink. We've done some little bits on the edges, but they're easy enough. But we've cut out for the sink and on the other side we've cut out for the for the oven. Um, I'm a bit nervous really because I've got one go at it. And well I've measured it about five times now, so hopefully it'll be good. <laughs> The cabinet, the cabinet, the worktop cutting out went to plan, all worked out well. Everything fits. Uh, the sink will go in later. Just need to do the tap now. Uh, I'm having a bit of a break from the woodwork now and then moving on to the electrics. Uh, which most of the wires are already in, all through the conduit and everything. Um, but I'm starting on putting the solar controller in. And um, wiring up all the switches and everything else. So we're going to find places for everything to go, like the fuse box. Uh, I don't know, I've got loads of bits everywhere, but 
get all the locations, get them wired up, and see if everything works as well, actually, because I don't even know if the solar panels work yet. I'm sure they do, but... Cool. <laughs> We get to the wall in a minute, isn't it? Woo! Stop just on it. Doing a bit of wiring today, or a lot of wiring, and I've just remembered I've got all this to do for the water pump and the water heater and the level water level meter and also the heating element in the in the water tank. It's times like this I'm glad I put this conduit in because man, just pulling it through on this on this washing line makes it. Hell of a lot easier. Keeps it all tidy too. Oh yeah. There she is. Today we're doing wallpaper. Do you want to explain the gap? There's a gap at the top. Because. Because nothing is straight in here. Let's sort it out. Sort it out. So B roll. What do they call it? Is it B roll? Could be. You're not filming like that, are you? Don't be a moron. And the hinges. We have to take the hinges off. But it's working out alright. Putting them back on. Okay, what are we doing? Turning the solar panels on the first time. <sighs> okay. Ready? Go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Trying to get the, the glory moment here. He's got it on. I, I got two. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. Solar powered Dremel now. We've just tested the lights and the front set work fine, but the back set pop a fuse. So I'm assuming there's a short somewhere, unfortunately. Um, which the worst part about that is the wires are all up through the ceiling and I did them near enough first. Um, anyhow, we're going to have a look and see if we can find it and hopefully be able to sort it out. Right, so now we've narrowed it down, it is actually just this last one that doesn't work. Um, something to do with these, I don't even remember what these wires are to be honest, I think one must join it over to here. Um, I literally do not remember. I'm sure I'll have some pictures somewhere. But the easiest thing right now is just take take the one that works and I'll just join another wire on and feed it under here, connect it to that, and just get rid of that one. Sort it. Pick up that. Oh I wanna get in my cupboard. Oh I'll put it in my cupboard. I wanna close it. Perfect. Go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All links to products, materials, everything else that I've used will be in the description, along with some other little handy links. And then at the end of this really cool little outro thing, there's some info on the ebook. Cheers, guys.